Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes with Tim here on Heavenry Thinking. Today, I want to read Isaiah 61, 1 through 3 for you and then present you with a challenge for this week. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion. To bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his honor. There is splendor. So this week, as we look at these verses, I want to challenge you as we see these verses to first focus on Jesus. These verses were a foreshadowing of Jesus Christ, and he quotes it himself in uh, Luke chapter 4 during his ministry and kind of the very beginning of his ministry showing what Jesus came to earth to do. Yes, he came to free us from sin, but he also came to do all these other things to point us to Christ really and to change our perspective. All these, these different lines in here really get me focused on how we are supposed to change our perspective when Jesus comes into our lives. It really changes it from mourning to joy, from grieving to a crown of beauty, all these different things that it says that we're going to have a garment of praise and no more despair. We're going to be called the righteousness of the Lord and we're going to display his glory. All these different promises here really show what Jesus does when he comes into our lives. He came to free us from our sin, free us from ourselves, from our earthly way of thinking, and he wants to give us a heavenward thinking perspective. He wants us to care about other people, to care about the poor, the brokenhearted, the captives, prisoners. We need to have that same heart that Jesus had. But at the same time, he also is freeing us, not just freeing other people around us or wanting us to free other people. He is freeing us ourselves, and we need to make sure that we live in that freedom, where we are living a life that God has called us to, not trapped in the slavery of sin and the slavery of despair. We can live with joy, even though we are living in a very dark world, especially at this time when there's all kinds of questions and all kinds of despair going on in the world and hopelessness and gloom. This is a perfect opportunity to read these verses and see how Jesus is calling us to have a different perspective, a different way of thinking, a heavenward thinking perspective that allows us to have joy even in the midst of sadness, and it gets our thinking focused on Jesus instead of the despair things of this world. So I'd encourage you to do that this week. Really focus on Jesus. Read these verses. See how Jesus came to earth to do this and how he wants us to do these same things to help other people and point other people to Jesus. So try that this week and really seek to understand what these verses mean. Pray about it. See what the Lord is calling you to do as you read these verses this week. And join us next time for another Two Minutes with Tim here on Heavenward Thinking.